In order to pass the UK driving test, we must understand and obey any traffic signs we come across. But this can be a challenge for new drivers as there are hundreds of different signs to learn. Traffic signs have many different shapes. Some are round, some triangular, and a lot are rectangular. Also, signs have many different colors. Many are white, some red, a few are blue, and each color gives different information. In this video, we will explain the purpose of traffic signs, how the signing system helps us to understand the meaning of each sign more easily, and then have a short quiz so we can check our knowledge. As always, if you would like to be notified of our next video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about this video, then please leave a comment below. Traffic signs play a vital role in directing, informing and controlling road users to make the roads as safe as possible for everyone. This makes a thorough knowledge of our traffic signs essential for everyone, not just for new drivers that are learning to drive. Since new road signs are introduced from time to time, drivers who passed their driving test a few years ago must keep up to date if they are to understand any new signs. There are too many signs for us to cover them all in this video, so we recommend reading Know Your Traffic Signs for more information. The signing system helps us to understand signs quickly by using standard shapes and colours for different meanings. There are three basic types of traffic sign and each type has a different shape. Circular signs give orders, triangular signs give warnings and rectangular signs give information. In addition, the colour of the sign gives further information such as whether we must do or must not do something. Let's have a look at each type of sign separately. Circular signs give us orders which we must obey. Signs with red rings tell us what we must not do, such as not exceed 30 miles per hour, or we must not enter a road. Signs with blue circles generally tell us what we must do, such as stay above a minimum speed of 30 miles per hour, or to turn left. If there is a plate below the sign, it is to qualify the main sign's message. At this junction, we can see several signs stating that we must not turn right, so we have to turn left or go ahead. Triangular signs give warnings and are there to help us prepare for a hazard on the road ahead that we might not be able to see in time. They might warn us of a sharp bend, roundabout or even a slippery or bumpy road. The sign will make it clear what the hazard is and we must decide what to do about it. We would normally slow down and be ready to react if needed. In this case, the small sign on the left warns us that there are traffic lights ahead so we can get ready to choose a lane and stop if needed. Rectangular signs are there to give us directions and other information. The colours of these signs vary with the type of road. For example, motorway signs are blue and signs for primary routes are green. Signs for tourists are brown and traffic diversions are yellow. There are hundreds of other signs giving all kinds of different information and at this junction, the red signs remind us that even though our traffic light is green, we must give way to oncoming traffic. There are a few exceptions to the shape and colour rules to give certain signs greater prominence. The benefit of this is that we can recognise the sign from further away and react sooner. Even if we can only see the silhouette of these signs, we know that we are approaching the end of our road and should start slowing down. 
Sometimes there might be so many signs in view that we can't read them all, so we might need to prioritise and only read the most important signs. We look out for circular signs first, as they give orders that we must obey, such as a speed limit. Next we look out for triangular signs, as they are there to warn us of something ahead, such as a junction. Rectangular signs might give us useful information, but since this will rarely affect our safety, they are less important than the other signs and okay to ignore if needed. Let's have a short quiz next to check our knowledge. We'll show each sign in turn and then the answers afterwards. If you need to have a longer think about a sign, then please pause the video. Sign 1 Sign number 2 Sign 3 Sign number 4 Sign 5 Sign number 6 Sign 7 Sign number 8 Sign 9 Sign number 10 That's all of the signs, here are the answers. No stopping Pedal cycles only Keep left Give priority to oncoming vehicles No entry No overtaking Dual carriageway ends Side winds Traffic queues No motor vehicles So how did you do? Even if you got them all correct, there are over 600 more signs in the official Know Your Traffic Signs booklet, so it is worth a read. So remember to keep your knowledge up to date. Remember the meaning of shapes and colours. Look well ahead for signs and be ready to react when needed. If you found this video interesting and would like to be notified when we release the next one, then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member or patron of our channel. Thanks for watching.